Welcome to another edition of Whiskey, Games, and Nerd Stuff. Today's whiskey, we're actually going to have a beer. It is a Melvin from Melvin Star Valley IPA. I've never had this before. I just thought the can looked really, really cool. I'm going to go ahead and open it off camera for a second. Just don't want to case it. There it goes. Let's go ahead and take a sip. Mm. That is good. That is really good. In today's nerd stuff, we're going to go ahead and go through issue two of the new Ultimate Spider-Man. As I'd mentioned in the discussion of issue one, um, I'm intentionally waiting until these have been out for several weeks. Gives everybody the opportunity to read these without any spoilers. Um, but if you have not read this one and you don't want to have a spoiler and have be spoiled, then do not watch the rest of this because I will be going through the issue and discussing what... Um, we see and give some of my thoughts. Let's go ahead and take another sip. All right. And this is one of the variant covers, if I recall correctly. Really like this cover. And as I did in the first one, the only part I'll actually read out the whole part is just, just kind of the, the preview right here is 20 years ago, the maker prevented a, a radioactive spider from becoming um, a... Sorry, we'll start over. 20 years ago, the maker prevented a radioactive spider from biting a young Peter Parker. He likewise prevented the creation of any other superheroes and formed a secret council to rule the world from the shadows. In a quest to free the world from the maker's council, Tony Stark sent Peter, now a married father of two, a package containing the same radioactive spider and a pyotech suit. After watching his uncle, Ben Parker, and mentor, J. Jonah Jameson, Leaving the Daily Bugle over pressure from the Bugle's new owner, Wilson Fisk, to control the news cycle, Peter felt called to action and let the spider bite him. Let's go ahead and take a sip. So Uncle Ben is alive in this one, and Aunt May had died in an attack. An attack that um, you'll find out um, that who was framed for it and what happened. Um, and then... Ben Parker, Peter's uncle, and J. Jonah, J. Jonah Jameson are actually friends. So we go ahead and open this up. It's, you know, Spider-Man swinging in a black suit, you know, kind of talking about how... Oh, and before I start, uh, the writers, Jonathan Hickman, an artist, and I ho hopefully I don't say this incorrectly, Marco Cachelio, Cachetto, apologize if I said that wrong. Um, so you got Spider-Man kind of talking about, you know, um, you know, he's kind of coming through in his black suit and then you've got his kids talking about the pictures of this, you know, they haven't called him Spider-Man yet, but it was person and his daughter is scared of the suit, thinks he's scary. And then at, or sorry, I mean, Mary Jane's off to kind of go, um, to work. So then you kind of skip forward a little bit and then you see again, he's kind of talking about how he's gotten stronger. He's gotten faster. He's got more agile, um, how he can take a beating. Um, but I don't see any talk about spider sense. So I don't know if it's, he doesn't have spider sense yet or they haven't put a word to it yet, but you can kind of see him crashing. You know, he's kind of contemplating, you know, is this, was this a good decision or not? Um, and then it kind of goes into Uncle Ben and Jay Jonah in here talking about um, what they're going to do. They're basically going to start their own paper. They're just kind of going through the process um, of kind of talking about it, ideas and whatnot. What's really interesting on this one is, you know, you would think this would be out of place for a Spider-Man comic book. But I really felt this kind of this fit well with it. This is kind of a more mature um, Spider-Man, which I know is kind of funny saying that about a comic book. It's it's a more mature comic book, uh, and it is an adult Spider-Man. And, and I feel like they're kind of talking about, you know, issues. These two had quit their jobs because they didn't, you know, they weren't on board with the new ownership and where they were going with the news. And I do think there's some subtle commentary of what's going on with the news and what's true and what's not. Let's go ahead and take another sip. So it kind of goes through Spider-Man again, and then he sees 
um, somebody who's obviously robbing the bank, kind of talks to him, you know, it's he's being friendly, you know, basically he's saying, you know, he kind of says, oh, you should go home. And he's like, sure. And by the way, what's your name? And he says, I'm the shocker. So we have the introduction of the shocker. And of course, you know, Peter Parker thought the guy was just going to go, you know, he got caught, he would go away. And of course he was dumb, you know, and he gets shocked. He goes, then he goes home and eats. Um, and then he gets busted by his daughter who was scared of the suit. So then they kind of have a conversation about, um, he doesn't need to be scared. Um, but she didn't like the suit. And then of course, you know, Hey, don't tell your mom that, that you see me in this suit. Right. So I thought it was kind of interesting. What, what I'm curious and, and hesitant and, and so many other emotions is, if this comic book takes off, and we all know that one of the things that's always been consistent in a lot of the Spider-Man comic books is tragedy, you know, will they go somewhere and have something happen to the kids? Will they go somewhere and have something happen to his wife? Will they keep Uncle Ben alive for a while? Um, when are we going to see that scene that says, you know, with great power comes great responsibility, right? So then you kind of go into here about Wilson Fisk and they're talking about the attempts on his life. And this is apparently they're alluding to this is the guy that uh, that's, you know, on the council or whatever it is for the maker. And he keeps saying that they have an asset and pointing to this guy. So I think this is alluding to this guy being a major character. You know, obviously there's the eye patch. Um, so there could be some hits in there. It's not going to be uh, Nick Fury, um, but. You know, I'll be curious to see who this ends up being that he's talking about because they've shown him in the other issue. So I do feel like this is going to be a, a, a character, a villain, or maybe even a good guy down the road. Um, he's having a conversation with his wife. Then he sees, lo and behold, the Shocker fellow again. Let's go ahead and take another sip. They get into a fight. And then, of course, he tells another sob story about you know, hey, don't hurt me, and, you know, I just did this for my family, and, you know, he gets shocked again coming off. Now, I didn't hear anything that says the spider sense, but I do notice that the drawing right here where it's kind of got these lines, if you look at those lines right here, I'm wondering if that's the spider sense and he just doesn't know what it is yet, um, or is he not going to have the spider sense? I'm very curious. Um, and then you kind of see him jumping off and then you've got whoever the Green Goblin is. Um, I'm assuming this is the Green Goblin anyway, um, watching it. So I have a feeling this is going to kind of go where the Green Goblin's not going to be who we think it is because he attacked Wilson Fisk earlier on and he's watching this. I have a feeling in this world that he's going to start out as a good guy. Then we end with uh, Peter Parker coming home. And then you see the daughter, May, who drew a picture. It says, Dad, I drew a picture of your spider. I hope you like it. You're the best love, Dad. And it's got the blue and red. So I think this is going to be the, in the next issue, we'll see the kind of the introduction of the different costume. Um, and then as he was given, as they mentioned earlier, he was given this, uh, what are they calling it again? The... Uh, Pyotech suit, so I'm assuming it could, you know, change and manipulate and kind of look like different costumes and whatnot. Let me go ahead and take another sip. Do really enjoy the pacing of this. Like I said, it's kind of setting up. I feel like they're taking their time. They're not rushing this at all. Um, I do like the fam family dynamics that he's bringing in. And oh, look at this. I just noticed this. This dish rash dish rag that he's drying the towels with it kind of got it has the a traditional spider-man red with the crossing back and forth so that's kind of interesting um but i really like what they're doing with this i really like the art i like where the story is going i feel like we've got multiple stories going on we've got uncle ben and jonah what they're what's going to happen with them we've got this drama that's going on with kingpin we've got what's going to obviously happen with um spider-man peter parker and then this mysterious um, Green Goblin and seeing where that's going to go. Um, but this is just kind of really quick walk through 
of what we read in this particular issue. Let's go ahead and take a sip. Would really to he love to hear some comments in the comic sec comment section of, are you reading this comic? And if so, do you like it? What, what do you like about it? What do you not like about it? Um, is it kind of, is it hitting all the points that you want in a Spider-Man comic book? Um, do you, do you, what do you think of the story? What do you think of the art? What do you think, where do you think they're going to go with this? And then on the other Ultimates, um, what do you think they're going to do with that as well? But I'd really love to hear your comments on this. And also if you have some other comics that you would like me to kind of go through, you know, I'm not doing an over in-depth analysis on the issue and kind of getting in everything. I'm just kind of going through it. What I do, what I do is I read these real quick and then I'll go through it relatively quick on these videos just so we can kind of get almost a live reading of it. Um, but again, I really appreciate everybody taking the time to watch these. Um, please like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And until next time, cheers.